Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, AmiJ here. And just in case you're seeing my face for the very first time, you're welcome to join us here. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Gabriel Iglesias. This one is on the hunt. This was posted like a day ago. Whoa. Of course, you already know Mr. Fluffy. He's he's not fat, he's just fluffy. Let's check it out, guys. I'm not trying to preach to nobody. This is what you got to do with your life. Hell no, shoot. You like burgers? Kill it. Not like us. <laughs> I'm just saying that's what I'm going through. And then people think, oh, he's trying to lose weight because he's doing movies. He wants to look better. He wants to be accepted. Yes, no, no. He wants to be accepted. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted, you guys. Don't even think that. At my highest weight of 445 pounds, the level of acceptance I had was amazing. Okay? To put it's it to you like do. this. Wow. To put it to you like this, at 445 pounds, wow. there was women throwing themselves at me. <laughs> at 445 pounds, he has, your pocket is loaded. There was men. Don't worry. Oh, in Bay Area, let me tell you something about gay men. I know you're in here. I saw the line. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something about gay men. Gay men are very creative, they're very persistent, and they're very opportunistic Ooh. when they want to achieve the mission. <laughs> they're just as calculated as straight men are. I'll give you an example, I'll tell you a story, right? So, one night, Martin and I Martin, had a bar. Martin, I we love how he calls it. And that should come as no surprise. Oh, really, they were drinking? Yeah, we killed it. So, <laughs> as we're drinking, Martin is paying attention and he's listening in to a conversation that's happening about 15 feet away between these two girls. They're going back and forth and one of them was like, I don't believe we finished the whole bottle. How the hell is we supposed to get home? Martin stands up, looks at me, and says, Bro, I'll be back. <laughs> and then it began the hunt. You know, freaking. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Hidden, hidden, hidden. <laughs> Gay men are the exact same way. They listen, they focus, they pay attention, they wait for one of the cows to get away from the rest of the herd so they can corner it and strike. Four hours later, Martin and I are at the bar, and I'm 16 shots of the He has really lost weight. Wow. Oh, we yeah. And I'm still like... fantastic. <laughs> and I tell Martin, bro, I don't remember the last time I had this many shots of tequila. And Martin goes, bro, you're crazy, Fluffy. You're crazy. Wait right here. I got to pee. And so he <laughs> leaves to the restroom, and I'm leaning against the bar. The bar is the only thing keeping me standing. And from across the room, this guy stands up, looks at his friends and says, I'll be back. <laughs> and then it began. The hunt. The hunt. <laughs> And he gets in my face and he tells me, I just have to say, I am such a huge fan of yours. Oh my God. Anytime someone says they're a huge fan of mine, it automatically makes me smile. Even more so if I've been drinking. <laughs> oh yeah, if I'm drinking, I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Bro, I was so loaded, I bowed. Thank you. <laughs> The guy puts his hand on my shoulder and he says, I just have to say, you have gotten me through some difficult time. And he stops talking and he squeezes and he goes, oh my God, do you work out? <laughs> I was so drunk, I said, <laughs> you're the first person to know that. And he's like, oh, you could totally tell. And he squeezed again, and I said, ah, I'm sorry, am I overstepping? No, bro, you don't understand. I'm stressed out. That felt pretty good. <laughs> Want me to rub both your shoulders and your back and scratch it? Because I will. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go for it. <laughs> he grabs me by the shoulders, you guys. He grabs me by the shoulders, and he turns me around. 
now I'm facing the bartender, and the bartender is trying to warn me. The bartender's <laughs> like, hello, hello. He uses his life to give us jokes like oh yeah. <laughs> that was everybody hello see you know you know it's in some situations where you don't you know you don't need to say everything you use, you use your number six and understand what the person is trying to say that was so hilarious <laughs> guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section and come on can we talk about giving her glasses losing weight oh my god that's amazing i'm super happy for him because that means that you know there are some um of course you guys know what that means so guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section so until i come here and i say guys remain happy don't worry because everything's gonna be all right so don't worry be happy so until i come here and say please like and subscribe bye